Mom, what's that word? That says tortoise, Huggy. What's a tortoise? A tortoise is a very big turtle. And what's a hare? A hare is a kind of rabbit. Why don't they just call the story the turtle and the rabbit? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Can we just read the story? <laughs> All right, then. One day, the hare was teasing her friend, the tortoise. And she wasn't being very nice. The boastful hare could run really, really fast. But the kind old tortoise was very, very slow. To be so slow, it must be sad. It must be very, very bad. The tortoise, he got pretty mad the day of the big, big race. Well, let's have a race, said he. You're too slow. You can't beat me. I can. You can't. Well, let's just see. The day of the big, big race. Stuck in glue the day of the big, big race. The hare, she laughed. Ho, ho, ho. That old tortoise is slow, slow, slow. I can't be beaten. No, no, no. The day of the big, big race. Poor old tortoise, sure enough, moved so slow and huffed and puffed. He was tired, but he was tough. The day of the big, big race. I am miles and miles ahead. I think I'll take a nap. She said in a carrot patch she made a bed. The day of the big, big race. Strong the day of the big, big race. I won't give up. No, no, no. His confidence began to grow. Come on, legs, let's go, go, go. The day of the big, big race. Even when the hill was steep, still he climbed and still he creeped, and still the hare was fast asleep. The day of the big, big race. and Buggy to tidy their room before going out to play. <laughs> Those kids. Do you know where they are? I think I saw them in the backyard. I'll go find them, Jen. Wow, it's so cool to look at all the little insects. Yeah, the ants are my favorite. My favorite is the grasshopper. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. And I think this might be a good time to tell it to you. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. The grasshoppers do cartwheels. And all they do is play while the ants work all day.
The ants go digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. The grasshoppers dance for fun. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! They never helped. They wished they had. And now they feel really bad. All they did was play while the ants worked all day. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The grasshoppers said with a grin, We'll never shirk our work again. And the ants all shout, Hooray! 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 <laughs> off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Billy the Middle ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity hippity hoppity up jumped the troll and he hollered out. Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered and stop. Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll, I'm not very big, and you look very hungry. Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff is coming next, and he's much bigger and tastier than I am. Well, all right then. Be off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Billy the Biggie ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity hippity hoppity up jumped the troll and he hollered out. Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered and stop. Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. 
Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Go Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Go Gruff? Oh, yeah? Billy the Biggie, he lowered his horns and charged straight at the troll. And end over end over hill over glen and over the mountain that bad troll flew. Over the mountain that bad troll flew. And Billy the Biggie. The Billy Goat's Gruff. And Billy the Biggie, the Billy Goat's Gruff. <laughs> the Lion and the Mouse, the Lion and the Mouse. This is the story of the Lion and the Mouse. Mouse was creeping through the woods and woke a sleeping lion. She was scared and crying. She said, If you let me go, I'll help you someday. Soon you'll see. When you need me, I'll be there. You'll count on me. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the Said, you tiny thing, what can you do for me? Tell you what, <laughs> you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you! Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and Because you're small If it weren't for you I would not be here at all
foe fum I smell a boy by gosh by gum That bad time he boomed and boomed And Jack went flying out of that room Back the way he come, he come Back the way he come After Jack the giant chased He chased Jack all over the place When suddenly Hip hip hooray Came Gigi and Noah to save the day They froze that giant like stone like stone They froze that giant like stone <laughs> To the beer stock Jack ran fast and bold And there he found A sack of gold His mama's gold that giant stole So many many years ago Down the stock Jack, Jack flew Jack In the forest Papa bear, mama bear, baby bear Sat down to eat their porridge Ooh, much too hot Growl, Papa bear, let's go Walk in the forest That's when Goldilocks came by Found their house in the thicket Knock, 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 no answer So Goldie entered the kitchen Mmm, smells good she grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge, way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge, way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge, just right, just right, just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room she spied chairs of three different sizes They looked quite inviting so Goldie thought she'd try them Papa Bear's chair, way too hard Mama Bear's chair, way too soft Baby Bear's chair, just right, just right, just right just as gold he settled in that chair Broke into pieces Gold he went upstairs and found Three nice beds she could sleep in They looked quite inviting So Papa's bed she creeped in Papa Bear's bed, way too hard Mama Bear's bed, way too soft Baby Bear's bed, just Sleep. Three bears came back home Soon as they stepped in They knew they were not alone Someone's been eating my porridge Growled Papa Someone's been eating my porridge Said Mama Someone's been eating my porridge Cried Baby And they ate it all up Ate it all up They walked into the living room And what do you think they noticed? <laughs> Someone's been sitting in my chair Growled Papa Someone's been sitting in my chair Said Mama Someone's been sitting in my chair Cried Baby And they broken it up, broken it up Upstairs in their bedroom now What do you think they noticed? <sighs> Someone's been sleeping in my bed Growled Papa Someone's been sleeping in my bed Said Mama Someone's been sleeping in my bed Cried Baby And they Goldilocks woke up and saw three brown bears staring at her. She screamed, Help! Jumped out of bed and ran away with the clatter. Down the stairs and through the door, Goldie's gone forevermore. Our three bears, they scratched their heads, fixed the chair and made the beds and said,
sat down to eat their porridge. And that is the story of the three bears. Yeah! Buggy? Did you just take Huggy's apple? No. Hey, my apple's gone. It wasn't me. Well, Buggy, what's that? Um... Hmm. I think it might be a good time to tell you a story, Buggy. There was a boy who watched the sheep. The silliest boy you ever did see. One sunny day, who knows why? He thought for fun he'd tell a lie. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come! Hurry, hurry! Run, run, run! And up the hill, a farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick! I played for fun! The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. At half past ten, the silly boy cried wolf. wolf again. And up the hill, the farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. But that same day, at quarter past two, a big bad wolf came into view. Into the field, the wolf did creep to scare the boy and steal the sheep. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come! Hurry, hurry! Run, run, run! Wolf, wolf, it's not a game! Please come now! But no one came. The silly boy, he shook with fright. That wolf stole every sheep in sight. The little boy was very sad because he knew that he'd been bad. He decided there and then, I'll never ever lie again. The most important thing to do is always, always tell, tell the, the truth. truth. <laughs> Okay, you two, snuggle in and close your eyes, and I'll read you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yay! Little Red Riding Hood went out one day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She was going to Granny's far away. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She followed a path through the deep, dark woods to get to Granny's as quick as she could. Uh-huh. His hat and said, How do you do? Uh huh. Uh huh. She said, My granny is feeling ill. I'm bringing her cookies to make her well. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Said Little Red Riding Hood, I must run. Uh huh. said good day and she walked away but the big bad wolf knew a faster way uh-huh 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 the big bad wolf came to granny's house uh-huh uh-huh and poor old granny was all alone uh-huh uh-huh granny get in the cupboard that bad wolf said then he put on her clothes and jumped in The 
wolf said, Dear, come over here. But the little girl knew something was weird. Uh -huh. Better to eat you with. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Help! cried Little Red Riding Hood. Uh huh. Uh huh. And in ran a hunter who was in the woods. Uh huh. Uh huh. The hunter grabbed the wolf and he put him in a sack. And the big bad wolf, he never came back. Uh huh.
twins, it's story time. How about the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Yay! Once upon a time in a house in the forest, there lived three bears who loved their porridge. They ate it every morning and every night. Papa's was hot. Mama's was cold. Baby's just right. I'm Papa Bear. I'm big and proud. I'm Mama Bear. I could roar so loud. I'm Baby Bear. This is my chair. And we're the three bears. The three bears decided to go get some honey to put on their porridge. So off they went into the woods. Right across the woods lived a little girl With golden hair and lots of curls Everybody called her Goldilocks Off she goes! Off I go! Into the woods Oh look, I found a little house I'll knock knock on the door No one's home Goldilocks know she had just entered the house of the three bears. Wow, look over there, a table of food. Great, cause I am in the mood for a big bowl of porridge just for me. Hey, there's one! Wait, there's two! She was feeling full and wanted to rest her feet. Papa Bear's chair looked much too hard. Mama Bear's chair looked much too soft. Baby Bear's chair was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. But Goldie was too heavy for Baby Bear's chair, and so... Decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear's bed was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. Just as Goldie fell asleep, the three bears returned home to discover they were not alone. Someone's been eating Papa Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating Mama Bear's porridge.
wasn't a welcome guest, and the three bears chased her right out of their house. <coughs> she ran all the way home and never returned. A very good lesson she had learned. Again, the bear's home was filled with laughter, and they lived happily.
<laughs> hey, quit telling lies, Mark. Didn't you ever hear the story about the boy who cried wolf? No? Tell me! The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf, the boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. There was a boy who watched the sheep. He'd watch him walk and watch him sleep. He was so bored he made a plan. I need to find some action, man. Telling the truth, Mark. 